Okay, so in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download Bitsy games that you've made, um, but also how to upload Bitsy projects that other people have made or that you've made in the past to Bitsy. Um, and I'm also going to show you how to share those games online um, on a platform called itch.io so that other people can play your game. So let's get started. So I've already made a game in Bitsy, um, and I'm going to download the game now. So the way that you do that, um, Remember, we have all these different tabs up here with all different things you can do in Bitsy. So you're going to want to go to the download tab. And once you've clicked on that, this little pop up is going to come up and all you're going to have to do is click download game and then it's going to show up in your downloads. And then you just save this to whatever folder um, on your desktop or in your documents that you want. Um, just make sure you know where you put it so that you can find it later. Um, so that's what that looks like. And I've already saved this game. So now I'm going to show you how to upload a game. So I've already backed this game up. This game is on Samurai Debt, and I've made another game a couple months earlier when I was learning Bitsy um, that was about mental health. So I'm going to upload that game just to show you what that looks like. Um, so I called it Take a Breath. And there you go. Um, so literally all you have to do is if you have an HTML file um, that, that was a Bitsy game, not a different kind of game, like Twine also does HTML files. Uh, so make sure that the game that you're uploading is one that you made in Bitsy, but if you have another game in Bitsy, all you have to do is literally just click on the file and click upload and it pops right into your Bitsy game. And here's the paint tab so I can go and edit my avatar, I can edit the tiles, I can go and edit my sprites and see the dialogue. So every everything that was in this game when I was working on it is still here. Um, and if I wanted to switch back to the game that I was working on on Samurai Debt, all I'd have to do is go to upload game and put in this. And now this is exactly what I was working on earlier. And it has all of my items and sprites and everything in here, just like when I was working on it. So that's awesome. So I, I've taught you how to download and upload games. Let's talk about how to share them online. So one place that lots of people who develop games post their games is called itch.io. So uh, I'm going to teach you how to put your game um, there as well. So you have to make an account for itch.io, but it works the same with every other website, so I'm not going to show you that step. I already have an account. I've been making games for a while, so I'm going to show you how to upload one. So the first thing you want to do is go to your dashboard after you've made your account. And yours will not look like this. Um, obviously, I have lots of game projects uploaded. I've made several games, um, but yours will not have any projects if this, if this is your first time. But you're going to want to navigate down to the Create New Project button. Click on that. And then I'll fill in this information, skip ahead and show you um, what we have access to. All right, so I've gone ahead and filled in some information here. So I've added um, a cover photo that's just a screenshot of my game. Um, I've given it a name. Um, it has a project URL that um, is taken from the title and I've changed it a little bit. I've given it a tagline. This is a game, it is a piece of software that you can play. And the default kind of project is a downloadable project, um, but this is an HTML project, so I've marked it as that. I've marked this as released, um, no payments. Um, if, if you were releasing this game for other people to play, you might want to enable payments, but if this is a classroom assignment, um, or if this is just like a small time game that you've made for fun, you probably want to go with no payments. Um, and then I'm going to teach you how to upload the file in a sec, but these are the rest of the options that you can enable. Um, I do want all of this stuff. I've written a short description um, that I'm gonna edit a little bit later. Um, I've tagged this as educational. Um, yeah, so the, there's a lot of stuff that, that you can toggle. So visibility and access is one important thing for if you're submitting this as an assignment. While you're working on this, you're gonna wanna leave it in draft so that you can make changes and try different things out and see how they look. But when you are gonna submit this to your professor, you either wanna go with restricted um, which basically is you can give your professor a link to the game and a password to be able to access it and then only they can play it. Or, or you're going to want to list this as public so that everybody can see it, everyone has access to it. Um, so then let me show you how you upload your game real quick. Um, so we're going to go to Upload Files. Uh, you're going to go to the version of the game that you want to upload. You're going to upload that. And then, so the default is that this is an executable file. So the default is this is an app that you're playing on a Windows or Mac computer or that you're playing on your phone. Um, that's not what we've made. We have made, um, well, we've, we've made something that you can play in the browser. So it's an HTML file. So you're just gonna wanna click this. This file will be played in browser, click that button. And then that takes all that away. So that's no issue. 
So then you're gonna wanna save and look at the page to see what it looks like. Um, and then your HTML game is gonna load just in the menu like this. So this looks pretty blank right now. Um, it's not very pretty, but we can edit that. So you wanna click edit theme, and then you can mess around with all these different options. Um, you can add like a, a image banner or background or something cool like that. You can change the background color. Um, I'll probably play around with this in my free time um, after I've recorded this video, but just to give you a sense of like what you can do. Um, and this is not super pretty or anything, but um, yeah, you can change all these different colors. You can change the font, um, etc. And then if you were to play it, to be, um, and since we've enabled um, in the options, I enabled the full screen. Um, you can click on that and you can play this game just like you would when you were testing it out in Bitsy. And you can move around and interact with things. And then when you want to get out of it, um, if you're on a Mac like me, you have to go up to the top and do this, but you should also just be able to press escape on Windows computers. Um, and yeah, and then, so obviously you're gonna wanna take this out of draft when you submit it to Canvas or uh, Blackboard or whatever um, place you're submitting your assignment or email it to your professor. Um, but that's pretty much all you need to know for how to take your game off of Bitsy and put it onto itch.io.